We got some more Brian Fisher here, courtesy of Right Wing Watch. This is the fundamentalist Christian view on the role of gays in society. My view of public service is that somebody who is engaged in sexually deviant behavior is not qualified to hold public office. That's why if you get a conviction for rape, you can't hold public office. You get a conviction for pedophilia, you can't hold public office. You might even get run out of office on a prostitution charge uh, because it's sexually deviant behavior. Now, lesbianism is sexually deviant behavior because it deviates from God's plan and design for human sexuality. So I believe this is a person who, because of her because she's involved in sexually deviant behavior, should be, ought to be disqualified from public service. Gay people should be disqualified from public service. You can't be a politician if you're gay. This guy is such a bigot. He's filled to the brim with hatred, and he's also probably filled to the brim with something else that he would like to get off on guys, if you know what I'm saying. But even the comparison he makes, he goes, well, you know, rapists and pedophiles, well, they shouldn't be able to hold public office, so obviously lesbians shouldn't either. Okay, but one of those things, if you're a rapist, or if you're a pedophile too, if, specifically if you're a rapist, you're uh, a violent criminal who's forcing yourself onto somebody else and violating them. If you're a pedophile, there can't be consent by definition because a child does not know what sex is, so they don't know what they're consenting to, so you're violating them. So in one case, it's a horrific, terrible, violent crime. In the other case, it's consenting adults behind closed doors doing what they want to do. And you're going to compare the two? No, but rationality is just completely out the window once you buy into this fundamentalist, biblical worldview where you say, look, it's written in the laws of nature, gay people aren't equal, gay people, you shouldn't treat them fairly, they're sexual deviants, and by the way, what else would you like to take away from them if you're saying, well, they shouldn't be able to run for office? Should they be able to buy a house? Would you say no to that? Should they be able to rent a house? Or do they need to have it under somebody else's name because they're gay and you can't trust them with the house? Are they allowed to own pets? Are they allowed to adopt? Well, Brian Fisher would definitely say no to the adoption one. Uh, are they, what jobs are they allowed to have? Are you going to make a list of what they're allowed to do and what they're not allowed to do? Uh, so where does this stop? This is a very slippery slope we're going down here, and I can remember a society that went down a similar slippery slope going back to the 30s and the 40s. Meh, but maybe I, uh, I, I won't say it. I'll let you fill in the blank there, but is that not exactly what he's doing right here? It's scapegoating. Well, hey, just these lesbians are the problem, so just don't allow them to get into public office, and then everything will be hunky-dory. God, he's such a stupid guy.